Warner has now set up uh, their own wholly owned subsidiary. Uh, so yeah, it's kind of funny. It's kind of reverted back to uh, the situation as it was prior to uh, about 1984 when, when uh, you know, Warner d disinvested yes. uh, from South Africa and sold their operation to, to uh, uh, you know, an independent uh, uh, South Absolutely. African entity. Yeah. The catalog in musical terms, we've done the business. Now, the catalog in musical terms must be one of the largest and richest in the African continent, maybe, in terms of the music that's there. Give us some sense of the highlights from different periods of the kind of music that exists. Yeah, well, um, when you talk about catalog, you've got to kind of remember we're talking about, we're talking about actually two distinct entities. On the first, on the one hand, you've got the recordings, and then on the other side, you've got the publishing rights, the composers, the songs. In terms of uh, publishing, uh, Gallo Music Publishers has, without a doubt, the, the, the greatest collection of, of South African copyrights going. And unlike some of its former rivals, it is, it's well administered and it's well documented. So it, it you know, uh, it's, 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 it really is an, an amazing collection of material. Although, we're, of course, we're talking about South African uh, material oh, only. Yeah, yeah. Uh, South African composers. Um, on the recording side, there's also an extremely, uh, you know, rich uh, collection of copyrights. Um, the problem there is that is that uh, it is actually. You know, one one of the things that I didn't mention about we didn't speak about the growth of Gallo was that as Gallo went along, they bought up other record companies. Mm. So, the total number of recording copyrights that they own is actually far greater than the recordings that they can actually access. Because over the years, you know, they didn't keep up adequate libraries. There's an awful lot of masters that have been lost, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But it's still it's a pretty. I mean, look, it's a pretty amazing collection. Mm -hmm. Just if you if you just uh, you know if you just think about the the um, the part of it that is well organized because it's the more recent and well known mm -hmm. parts. I mean, you know, you've got like you know Lady Smith, Black Mombazo, Lucky Dube, Stimela. You know, and then going back even further, it's, you know, you've got powerhouse writers like, you know, like the Manhattan Brothers in the 1950s. And, and of course, the other thing is that, that um, you know, the way our copyright laws work here, a song remains in copyright for a period of 50 years after the death of the composer, whereas recording copyrights only last for 50 years after first release of the record. Mm. So... Um, you know, as time goes on, the recording copyright side is actually sort of falling away. Mm. Every every year, Decaying. another year, another yeah. year goes into the public domain. Yes. Where, whereas, because like uh, you know the where so that that will kind of over the years is actually going to de decline as uh, uh, in terms of you know actual ownership. Yes. Whereas the copyrights, because of the fifty years after the death of the composer. I mean, that is going to continue to be, if properly administered and mm. properly run, which is, of course, mm. always a big question mark, but, I mean, that, that should actually be a revenue producer for a very long time to come. But what happens to um, recordings that go out of copyright, but the, the master remains with the catalogue owner? How, how do people get access to that? Well, then it's a, it's kind of I guess you kind of got to do a bit of a tricky dance with the the owner and say, listen, in fact, I could go and I could dub my scratchy old LP and put it out because it's in the public domain. But you know, let's do a handshake deal. You know, I'll you know I'll give you you know I'll give you a five percent royalty uh, if I can have access to your master, so we can at least have a you know put the thing out with with def, you know a decent sound.